I quit Final Fantasy XIV half a year ago, but for some reason the shenanigans and circus act clown things that you guys keep doing it keeps appearing on my timeline on Twitter. More debate about mods, more debate about great areas, and billboards? Really? Billboards? The Final Fantasy XIV in terms of service is really not that complicated. So for anyone out there, here's what you can and cannot do with mods and what's allowed and what not and how to stay safe. First things first, let's get the big thing out of the way, right? Square Enix is not going to come to your house and kick down your door because you have a UI mod, a character mod, uh, you use ACT, or Goat Corp stuff, like XFV Launcher or whatever. Here's where the nuance in it lies. Does what you present, a screenshot, a video, present the following message. This is official Final Fantasy XIV footage as presented in the game. You may, by all accords, mod every single aspect of your Final Fantasy XIV client. UI? Characters? Go wild. I'll change the floor tiles if you so wish. I don't know. Uh, they cannot stop you from doing it though, they just frown upon it and would rather you didn't. The part where they take action against you is when you start posting screenshots, footage, and otherwise of Final Fantasy XIV, and you place the trademark anywhere along with the official logo and stuff like that, and you tag any official accounts. You use the official hashtag, etc, etc. Because with that, you are essentially presenting your image or your footage, and you are saying, with your modded screenshot and your modded footage, this is Final Fantasy XIV, this is official, as presented as it is in the game. Taking the recent billboard crap as an example, the billboard itself would have been, well, at least legally less problematic if it wasn't for that Final Fantasy XIV logo and the trademark right below it, because the thing contained modded poses, modded screenshots, modded characters with modded bodies, with modded clothes. It's not an actual representation of the game as you'd get it out of the box. I don't know Square Enix's policy in regards to a billboard, but people have posted their event posters for their in-game stuff like all over the place, like Twitter and all that kinds of stuff. Uh, on Etsy, people make toys, accessories, and cosplays for profit using their intellectual property all the time, and I've never seen them bat an eye in that regard, and even compliment the work from some of the cosplayers. That's because none of those people plaster the official logo and trademark on it. I think that's where the proper distinction actually lies. I think that's entirely where it lies. Just make sure that what you present, you're not presenting it in such a way as like, hey, if you download Final Fantasy XIV right now and you just don't do anything with it, this is how it looks in the game. But still, you want to post screenshots on your Instagrams, in your Discords, or on the Twitters. Well, go wild. Post modded if you so wish, but again, the same applies. Don't use official tags, don't tag official accounts, don't use the trademark, blah 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 blah. As an extra security measure, it might be wise not to drop your full character name, world server, and all that stuff in your bios either if you do mod. I'm not saying they're coming for your account, but in the case that someone's got malicious intents and all that kinds of stuff, and you do mess up things that we've talked about so far, they wouldn't have more to go off of than your Twitter handle if you do actually, you know, keep everything a little bit clean. Because without saying that, your search note in finals not really a good place to advertise it either. You know, don't do the whole thing like, hey, I'm XYZ character in Odin on this server, and on my Twitter it says this, and it also link makes a reference to it on my search note in Final Fantasy. For videos, I've not seen much of an issue. I'm pretty sure Square Enix is more than aware that content creators use tools like anamnesis or text tools for uh, some of their stuff like outfits, poses, emotes, or models. But it's not really with malicious intent most of the time, and the they are the characters as you'd find them in the game, most of the time at least. As for the unreleased stuff, that you do have to be careful with. That's considered a leak, that's the no-no stuff, because if you post a video of unreleased store stuff, like for example an unreleased cash shop item, that's distributing leaked things. That's a bad move. That's illegal. Now, surprisingly, some streamers need to be a little bit more careful too with what they listen to on stream. I still love Soken's work personally as well, and especially now that they're on Spotify, but if you're playing an official Final Fantasy XIV Spotify mix while playing Final Fantasy XIV itself, you might run into some issues. For example, say you're listening to Titan's theme Under the Weight via Spotify, right? But you just entered Chiva's trial where Oblivion should be playing. 
That's where you created a bad scenario and a misrepresentation of the game, because both songs are officially in the game, and even if you didn't actually intend to do so, you're now presenting the image that Titan's theme plays while you're running Shiva. People might ask those questions, maybe they think that song is associated, but you see how that might be an issue? Remixes, on the other hand, by producers like lo-fi remixes uh, that are not in the actual game, for example, by uh, Pascalis, Picari, myself, Tills, Mainro, Ashai, like, the list goes on, that's fine, because none of those are official in-game songs, they are remixes, and I think that all of these people are fine with you using their music as well. I think they might even appreciate the thought of it as is. Now, what about NSFW mods? Can you show those on stream, videos, screenshots? Uh, well, that's more of a thing of Twitch TOS and that kinds of stuff, but, and YouTube wouldn't allow it either. They would age restrict everything, but it's entirely your own risk. Final Fantasy XIV is not an adult game or an erotic game, and it's not in the warnings either. There is no nudity warning. Despite maybe some of the role-playing being done by players inside of the game, that's an online interaction, which is irrelevant. That's not something you can really account for. Uh, but if you decide to give your cat girl like big bear boinkers and you post screenshots of it everywhere and uh, you tag everything, uh, yeah, that's even more of a misrepresentation of the actual game and goes into the yeah, don't let them see this category of making sure you don't get banned. For videos, YouTube wouldn't improve. That they wouldn't approve of that kind of stuff, so just don't. I'm sure there's certain adult subscription-based sites out there that could help you further, but no. Uh, none of the usual uh, things will help you with that. So, what about Reshade or ACT? Well, Reshade or its custom variations do not modify the actual files of your game, thus it is allowed. Reshade or G-Shade or whatever people use these days is actually sort of a graphic overlay with effects for your game. So it's more of a piece of paper that you're putting over your monitor essentially, but it's rendering blur and all that kinds of stuff and it makes your game look pretty because it bases itself and its actions off of software which with the game or with which the game runs. It's not the actual game game, so that's fine, it's like photoshopping a picture. ACT is kind of the same deal, there's no modified files, which is fine. Uh, the people, or the reason people mention it as a grey area is not because of the program, it is because of FF logs and more to the point, people's attitudes and behavior around it. It is no secret that even if the rating community likes to pretend that it's not there, there is so much toxicity around ACT. That is when it is not allowed. Do not use ACT to harass, talk down, gatekeep, uh, call people trash, anything like that, because that's when an outside application is affecting your in-game actions. Besides, harassment, elitism, and gatekeeping over parsing numbers is stupid. Just clear the fight. You can map out almost every single frame in a raid with a taskbot because of how a few actual variables there are most of the time, aside from like maybe skill variation with a boss mechanic, but like that's just changing the order. But congrats, you did that repetitive thing very, very good. You're essentially a walking macro. Way to go, kid. Anyway, that's all for now. That's how you ensure that you do not get banned for doing stupid stuff with mods, ACT, and everything else in FF14. I'm starting to miss the game ever so slightly, but not entirely just yet, and the billboard news thing was so ridiculous it prompted me to make this video to really just make guidelines for people and keep them up to date. I'm still working on the FF12 video, uh, the script has seen a lot of revisions, and I'm currently positive for the world's hippest sickness that was all the rage last year. Regardless, my name is Grim, I hope to see you again very very soon, please be careful with mods, and please look forward to my next video.